Energy New Orleans says it's taking steps to make the power grid as resilient as possible as we head into what is predicted to be a busy hurricane season. So far, the city council has rejected Entergy's request for hundreds of millions of dollars in rate increases, but Entergy leaders say some resiliency projects are moving forward. Rob Messon has the story. With the National Weather Service predicting as many as 25 named storms this season, some residents worry after losing power for up to two weeks after Hurricane Ida. It was miserable. I mean, you know, no AC, no fans, no nothing. You know. In its effort to minimize power outages and strengthen the electrical grid, Entergy says it's doing the best it can under its existing rate structure. We have our annual maintenance plan where we you know, replace poles that are on a 10-year inspection cycle. Um, we, we replace wires that, that come down, and we, we do a lot of vegetation management. You know. The power company has come up short in its request for a billion-dollar rate increase to fund 670 projects designed to make the electrical grid more storm-resistant. But the council came back to us and said, you know, let's, let's break this down in chunks. Some New Orleans residents say with high insurance and utility costs, they're glad the rate increases didn't go through. I'm 70 years old, trying to retire. I don't know how much more money I can come up with. While Entergy New Orleans has not been able to get approval for its billion dollar storm resiliency plan, they say they are making some progress. The council did approve one project as part of that plan back in, I think, January. It's a project that is specifically um, for the New Orleans East area. It's a large transmission line replacement. Entergy has scaled back its initial request. In April, we submitted a three-year, $170 million plan. It's about 90 projects citywide. Entergy New Orleans says it's reviewing its contracts with outside power companies, which sent in 20,000 line workers to help get the grid back up after Ida. But the Alliance for Affordable Energy says the utility needs to do more. We know that Louisiana has some of the worst um, outages numbers in the country, and that even excludes storms and major events. In spite of rising costs, Karen Glazer says she's willing to pay a little more if it means less frequent outages. For my home, you know, five to ten dollars a month, but if they're talking twelve to fifteen hundred a year, then it becomes onerous, you know. But she says when it comes to storms in Louisiana and their impacts on infrastructure, there are no guarantees. It seems as though no matter what you do, nature is going to throw something at you that you hadn't anticipated. Rob Manson, Fox 8 Local First.